Well, hello, friends. I bet you wonder what I've been doing with my day today. Well, you can see I'm trying to get the grapevines out of this tree. Yeah, it seems like while I'm working on one thing, something else is getting out of control. So I will probably finish that job tomorrow or even the day after. I've, I've seen it. The weather is hot in so many places, but right now it's 69 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it's very comfortable right here for me. It's, um, it's after six o'clock in the evening though. So yeah, nice weather. <laughs> Friends, today, what we're going to do is we're just going to take a look at a couple things. And we have a friend who has a question that needs to be answered. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's start off with our friend's question. She was wondering why I had bottles in my grow bags. So while I make my way over there, I'll let you take a look at her channel. So come on, friends. Let's get to this. Well, here's the bottles in question. I've got holes at the bottom of these bottles. If you remember last year, my grow bags were so dry down at the bottom because they're on this cement. So I saw this on another person's channel. I will put their name down below here and, uh, and show you their channel. Yeah, let's just look at their channel. He's got a wonderful channel and I get a lot of good ideas from his channel and I don't mind sharing them with you. I'm waiting on these. I might have to do some covering over these because I've had strawberries almost ready and then they disappear. Uh, you know what's happening there. Here's the other bag. You notice I've got the water bottle really close and so nothing gets in. I put the lids back on. I put water. They've got holes at the bottom. And then so I'm trying to get some water down at the bottom of my bag so they won't be so dry. I hope that answers the question. If not, just ask me what needs to be clarified and, and I'll do that for you. This morning when I was out, I tried to straighten this area a little bit. Look at those two potatoes. This is where I had put the resurrection lily seeds and they have died back. I'm not really too concerned because the big plants have died back too. So maybe that's just the cycle. We'll see if they come back next year. A quick look at the banana trees. I took them off the concrete and put them in the bed so they'll have soil under them. And I still need to do a little more around this, this rose bush. And ask quiet what kind of seeds those are. Yep. Go, here's a cherry moya tree. I'm starting to smell pineapple, which means we should be just about ready to get some pollinating done here. I just need to find some flowers that are down low enough. I see flowers. Yeah. The smaller tree doesn't have any on it at all. But it's getting to be a nice size. Yeah, nice looking tree. While we're looking at trees, let's go look at the others. Looks like we're gonna have guavas here. You see that little flower in the back? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have lots. Let's hope they make it through. 
We're gonna come on over here to the persimmon. Still little. I'm walking on down. This is the older guava tree. Let me make this smaller. Yeah. What is that? That cute little ladybug. More flowers. They're coming on down here. That's my bag of weeds there. The figs are coming on really nice. I wonder how we're gonna do with this chillier weather. It's not even warm here. Well friends, that's all I have for today. I wanna to thank you for stopping by my channel. I really appreciate this time that we're able to spend together and I want you to check out my friends' channels. I will be putting their um, the links to their channels in my description box so you can go over and check them out. So, friends, you know what it is. Mm -hmm. That's all I have for today. So it's time for me to say bye. So bye-bye, friends. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.